Hey, mini fish. It's the 1st of December 2017. And yeah, all this stuff here is still on my browser. And you know, after, you know, praying on this a bit and being away from it, as soon as I came back, it really kind of hit me that, you know, this this whole red theme for one, yes, it has probably several messages and meanings in it and of course it's just disguised as you know red it's the, the color of cheer in the season which makes no sense whatsoever and you know colors do have meaning to a lot of people and uh you know these little clubs and secret societies and whatnot they just love speaking in these languages so yeah the red definitely uh, probably death you know destruction that's basically what it stands for people I mean I don't know what else to tell you but beyond the red aspect of it okay when you were dealing with people that you know most people have no idea the depths that people go to to achieve these positions of, you know, quote, authority or celebrity. And it's primarily built around wealth, which comes along with the ability to buy any kind of weird thing you can think of. And it's an initiation of sorts in many, many areas of Hollywood, politics, you know, finance, uh, this is just what happens. And you see a bunch of it coming out now in the news with all these sexual um, harassment, you know, claims and all this stuff, which is great. I mean, these people should be called out. They're a bunch of weirdos. But it goes so much deeper that most people, you know, they'll be content with them throwing a few, you know, of their little sacrificial you know, lackeys under the bus. They, they, that doesn't bother them. As long as they can keep hidden, as long as they need to, and that's very important because it's coming to a point where they're saying we no longer need to be hidden. And, you know, this whole gig here, okay, they're promoting consumerism, they're all touting how wealthy they are, but they're, they're going to hell if they don't help people with AIDS. I mean, that's the song. This guy, you know, he makes sure... Watch this. I'm going to put the sound down, but this guy here, okay? Now, I'm going to put the sound up. Hold on. Listen to this guy. Oh, yeah. He's got his X phone. Isn't that lovely? And then the very next little scene here... Yeah, there you go. How's that grab you, huh? So, they're having a benefit for AIDS, the red pack, right? And they're throwing out all these homosexual, bisexual, you know, connotations, undertones, well, overtones, that's pretty overt. And I mean, I can go on, okay? The point of the matter is, is Satan's plan all along has been to destroy, you know, the natural man, the, the, what, what the intent was for man and woman, you know, to, you know, kind of go by a, a, a guide book, if you will, um, to ensure that when you uh, are finished with this flesh thing we call life, because it's very short. And they're going to promise you that they can just, like, pop your head onto a new body and you can just go on forever and do what thou wilt. Okay? And that is that spirit. This is just nothing more than a mockery and a declaration of sorts. You know, just like 9-11. Down with the twin, the two, and up with the one. They're bringing in their, their idea of uh, humanity. And I mean, Satan, the synagogue, the, 
the clubs. Okay? That's what it, this is all about. And another real interesting thing I found, okay? You got Obama, of course, and no one can deny that in the last, you know, especially, say, 10 years, that that is what has become the most prominently, you know, overt thing that has just flipped society on its ear is the just outpouring of this this lifestyle of do what thou wilt, this transgender, homosexual, you know, confusion, the gender fluidity, and all these things, it simply boils down to the, the, the plan of God being destroyed, literally, and the plan of Lucifer emerging. I mean, it's everywhere. It was really weird, too. I was looking at, uh, remember we were looking at U2's lyrics and stuff, right? Well, this little uh, album cover here, if you, if you take that, right, and you check it out, see the O with the staff through it? Well, that, I think that's more of a, a modernized, stylized version of basically the Ankh which is the two, the man, the woman, basically the Baphomet. I mean, the, these symbols really confuse a lot of people, but it all boils down to what you see in the destruction of the family, in the, just the desecration of anything good and holy, is uh, a pretty obvious indication of you know who we're dealing with. And then we see all this other stuff that comes through in there, their blatant language once you seek, you know, the, the eyes to see through Christ. And you understand what's going on here and you, you know where we're at. So, you know, this symbol you can find throughout. Like I say, the Ankh is one example. It's, again, a stylized version. It's basically the phallic symbol through the circle, understand? And it's one. It's become one. It's the same symbol that we see on the phoenix, the X. Same exact thing. And, you know, it's a combination of symbols because they're moving into a new era. They have their new symbol language that grows along with it. I mean, that's how they operate, you know. And I ain't going to sit and try and, like, keep up with every little, every little change they make in their language. Sorry about that. You know what I'm saying? But but it's all there. I mean, geez. You know, you, the Phoenix, the X, we've already gone through the X. If you guys go over to uh, Obama's website, right? I think I have it open here somewhere. It's it's interesting. I want to show it to you. Uh, yeah, but another thing, right? AIDS. They're benefiting AIDS, and they're throwing this these undertones everywhere we turn, right? I'm old enough to remember the AIDS crisis in the 80s. So I searched a real quick search for this, and this was like the first one that came up. And check it out, it was, re it was released exactly a year ago today. That's just, I just found that really weird. But this was not a fun situation, people. And it was primarily the homosexual community that was just ripped apart. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And these guys are here promoting it to... Do you see where I'm coming from? How on its ear this world is? It's absolutely out of control. Out of control. And I wanted to show you Obama's website, right? Yeah, see? Our mission in their tenure, basically in the driver's seat, so to speak, this is this whole... Uh, idea that that this homosexuality and transgender is normal has just blossomed and there's young obama with the x power x i mean it all ties together everything it's a very very dark plan that's been played out brilliantly because we've been asleep and you know i'm speaking just generally you know what i mean and we've been lured by the flesh into things like Christmas and cheer and Christmas trees. It's 
it's flipped upside down, folks. I've seen videos out there, you know, they're getting into literally using upside down Christmas trees, you know, this new trend. It's it's really getting close, people, to where uh, this is not going to be just, you know, blatantly put out in entertainment and movies and politics like it is. It's going to be, like, shoved down your throat, and you will participate. Or, you know, you'll be persecuted. So, you got to serve master. That's all I can say. And, uh, you know... There's only one king in my world, and his name's Jesus. And I suggest you look him up if you don't know him. And, uh, okay, I guess that's about it. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 